we have Ivy and Wong, and on deck we have Tanner Finnell. Finnell. My name is Ivy Engel. I'm a student here of communication and philosophy. I have lived in Stevens Point my almost my entire life. Um, I love this city with all my heart. Um, first, I just want to say I want to give a little bit of appreciation to my peers who are in STEM fields um, because I want to make sure that all of these that all the things that we're saying are not discounting your work at all. We need people like you. Also, um, referring to our university becoming a tech school, which I could see us heading down that path. I also want to say that I think tech schools are very valuable. Um, but this this institution is a liberal arts university, and we need to focus on, on those things as well as our, our STEM professions. Um, so I want to talk about how if the liberal arts core is so important, um, including to our STEM majors, that we really need to see the value of it in general. Um, and I feel like, especially the person before me, who shares the same name as me, said a lot of what I wanted to say. Um, but the liberal arts classes teach you so much about critical thinking, about being able to see the world from a different point of view. And that is what we need more of. And that does not, does not mean that we won't be able to find a career somehow or somewhere. Um, I'm a, the general manager of Roger Cinema as well, um, and I am a full-time student. And I just want to I want to say like I the skills I have learned in philosophy as well as my communication um, have very much so benefited me in my job. Um, I lead a staff of about 40, 40 teenagers. Um, I have five assistant managers. Um, I'm I know that I'm going to be okay in the world even though I'm majoring in philosophy. Um, I, I also want to say, as, as the person prior to me mentioned, um, this city is defined by its university. Um, it really does. I grew up, my grandma worked in multicultural affairs here, and I grew up going to the Hmong dinners. I grew up going to the Festival of India at Spash. I, I grew up with all of these beautiful cult, cultural things that are here because of the university. And if if, if Stevens Point um, is going to lose so much of this, I guess I just think about the Riverfront Arts Center and the Art Museum downtown and the new companies that sprout up here. These are all because of the university and its inspiration. And I would hate to see Stevens Point lose its beautiful, vibrant culture because of budget cuts. So I just, I plead to the administration that we can, we can find these cuts elsewhere. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ivy. So next we have Tanner Finnell, and on deck we have Dan Holland. Well, uh, my name is Tanner. I'm just going to kind of wing this. Um, I'm a history major here. Um, I grew up in Merrill, Wisconsin, and for my first two years I was at Maricon County, and then I transferred over here. Um, I guess I'm kind of unlike most people because I actually stuck to the major I have on um, history. Uh, and I just kind of through, um, I think that also there are important jobs like um, STEM research and um, my sister, she's actually going at the tech for sort of a job like that. But um, I just wanted to say that uh, throughout this uh, learning of the liberal arts, I was able to sort of, like a lot of people have developed my own kind of opinions and kind of realize that I am a very shy person, but I learned that you have to sometimes take risks and to, enjoy the course and the job and kind of the future you want and, and sort of that's kind of helped me stand up for myself and I've also learned that sometimes you got to learn and from uh, mistakes and that's especially with history because of those who are on repeat the past are kind of doing to repeat themselves and I'm able to, through this education I'm going to have, I'm going to be able to go out into the world and I'm actually going to be debt free because I was able to go to a point in Marathon and actually and my education, I wouldn't have to like go to Marathon and actually spend a lot more. Um, and when I think um, about these programs being cut, of, like just how these future historians and future in people in English who are just gonna maybe not go to like, are gonna have it harder to actually wanna study and stuff and they'll have to go to like other states and like even, or go to Madison and have to pay a lot more and like, some may even be deterred from like even wanting to maybe even pursue a higher education because it'll, it'll just be too much for them and they just can't afford it. And I feel like people should have the right to have an education and that aren't just like 
um, the very rich and the very wealthy, and nothing against you if you are, but all walks of life deserve people from all walks of life, so diversity, kind of deserve higher education, deserve to kind of strive better for the world, and I just don't want um, others to be kind of hindered by this and hindered by these supposed like um, cuts that they want to try, and that's uh, basically all I want to say, and I also believe that we just kind of purpose counts as well, just because a lot of these people like in English and philosophy and history, they would probably easier maybe even consider going to like other states to like Minnesota or Michigan even maybe kind of consider getting an education because if we focus on like direct things, that's just gonna deter them away. And I think it's just gonna hurt us in the long run. Um, that's all I pretty much have to say. Uh, I just wanted everyone to thank you for listening to what I have to say. Thank you, Tanner.